All right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of the most action-packed, non-stop narrative that you'll ever find anywhere on pretty much any medium. That's right. We're going to be bringing you the next installment of Saturday Night Gaming Presents A Heavenscape Adventure. This is The Void Runner. I am Tony Stevens. I'm your GM. I'm your spokesperson. I am here with you for this wild ride, and I'll go ahead and introduce my cast and crew one by one. Uh, go ahead and tell us who you are, who you're playing, and where you're at currently. I am Adine. I mean, I'm Jessica, and I'm playing Adine, and what are we doing currently? Don't forget. We're storming the in castle. A Stein Tech building on earth we're in a prime. stein tech building on oh, earth yeah. prime. Yeah. you were sick you don't know what's going on you'll let everybody i else was let you sick because it. freddie gave me a cold but i really do feel like i know somebody remind me they'll Storm in the castle? probably remind you as Stor we're around. storming a castle yeah hi my name is quinn <laughs> i will be playing hey, quinn. two characters um one is currently <gasps> oh i remember what we're doing Currently doing very little to trick the goons of Stein facilities into believing that he is a Stein reborn in a new body, a very unassuming body at the tippy top of Stein Tech Tower. Meanwhile, on the other side of the city, and by that I mean in the basement, I am also playing a character named Soul. He is kind of burning things. <laughs> Stein yeah, he was riding on a guard's back. That's what I remembered we were doing. Oh, doing. yes, because then they tried to, I think they tried to hurt the Dane. He's like, nope, <laughs> broke their neck. Yep. You don't hurt the Volotians. He's protective of his ilk. The, the people that... My hurt. name is Chuck, and I'm playing <gasps> Dark Metal, Soul's Hammer, Old Bar's Hammer, Dead or whatever you want to call him. And he's currently trying to hack it. Well, he hacked into the... to shut down the system... The message got through anyway. A part of it did. Yeah, it was just a moment too late. Couldn't get it all stopped. That's cool. You tried. I did. No. And that's what heroes do. Trying is half the battle. The other half is now. <laughs> <laughs> I am Dr. Thaddeus Moyle Stein. Ronnie will be portraying my little accident, Gabriel Clark. <laughs> who is now invading my own home space because I was not there to home train him for reasons I discarded him alright uh, my name's John and my character is Tom hi Tom hey uh he is a semi-omnipotent uh, creature that relies on dice rolls to perform his actions. And uh, he's currently investigating like Steintech and Fortus for the big time. While being shapeshifted as... Yeah, he's currently in, uh, posing as a uh, Stein replicant from the future mm -hmm. to fool the present stein replicant that uh so he can gain access in his health and of course uh as chuck said he his character uh tried to prevent a signal that this stein um, the emperor stein tried to send through to his stein prime but failed to catch the entire encoded message in time and in the skies over earth prime over agaropolis and breaking through the void is a massive object this uh, void facility that Stein has operated to get there um, and of course he came in search of this remnant of people from a destroyed realm he wants to experiment upon the remaining Velotians or extinguish them so he's been looking for the Exodus for quite some time now, and he has been given its location and has shown up in the skies like a meteorite that's just hovering, waiting to destroy all. 
Oh boy. And that is that is your scene set um, as far as the top of the tower, as was stated. We have Calcifer and we have Tom. Also, Tom Thumb, who came Tom with Tom. Calcifer. <laughs> and in the basement, we got Gabriel Clark. We got Death Metal, Dark Metal. Uh, we got uh, Adin, and we have the rest of the Terran Guard. The uh, band together, pair of human individuals that have been living in the sewers and looking for a chance to be heroic and take down this empire of Stein. So we'll go ahead and start to my right uh, and settle the scene in the basement. <coughs> course, is the floor still lava? <laughs> the floor is the always floor lava. The floor is lava. There's no way to really change that back. You made it lava, it's lava. Um, okay, so. I mean, it's only just the little bit. But We're, right now, you've handled killing everybody. Right. You just have him that's cussing at the, uh, the computer terminal that he did not manage to hack in time. Yeah, I'm about to punch it. With your good hand. Yeah. Strong arm. Take my strong hand. Actually, I might just turn it into the gun and punch it with a, a nuclear missile. Yeah. D don't do that, please. Okay, I won't. <laughs> I don't want to die a second time. But yeah, that's where you're at. I'm ready, Hooray, we getting won. ready to punch Yay. the machine. So what this? are we doing now? That's what I'm asking you. Do I we know, you like, come up with it. what are I'm we sort of planning? I'm getting ready to punch they, the machine. Do we really have a plan? I don't think so. What were we doing here? <laughs> I don't know. I followed you guys. I'm not really the plan type kind <laughs> of guy. I don't remember why we're in the basement. I know. I remember we were down here. Are what? we trying to get to the top of the building, maybe? Maybe this building has like some sort of beams that hold it up. I know <coughs> a lot of older buildings. They Let's have, like, go up the sports. elevator. What's an elevator? It's a thing that takes us to the top floor of this tall building. You, does it use magic? No. No, it uses cables and electricity. It uses cables, electricity. You mean like when lightning goes... Yes. Doesn't seem really safe, but don't worry. All right. Is it, too, is it spacious? Much, soul. For somebody who's been trapped in a burning ball for a millennia, you worry a lot. I'm trying to avoid things that might send me to a place where I, you know, worse than burning ball. Like dead. Like dead, dead. <laughs> you don't want to be dead. Not like you were the rest dead. of it. Not like the rest of the down here. The last of my kind, man. We may go to our deaths, but we'll go together and we will be fabulous. All right, let's do this. You with him? Yeah. Gabriel, get, <coughs> get your metal butt in here. All right, so you're all taking the elevator up to the top. I can't wait to hear what song we hear today. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm assuming it's it. cramped. No. It's elevator cramp. It's Stein Tech, dude. It's a massive elevator. Yeah, it has to lift that ego. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I guess Stein guy very egotistical. Oh, yeah. Egotistical. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, no. There no. are a lot of you, though, trying to cram onto this elevator. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, you're yes. cramped. I'm there. going to hide. Near. About a pair of humans, four. and then the four of you. Kinda... Four and one little guy riding on his shoulder. Well, going... but there's also the NPCs that want to come along. They want the NPCs can come behind us. Yeah. Well, I'm this... going to stay. I don't want to wait. What are you talking about? It's full. <coughs> wait for the next elevator. It's full of egos. You all think you're the heroes or something? We've been uh, we've been fighting this war a long time. Trust me, I've been fighting this battle since before you were even conception. You don't even have hair on your face. You're trying to tell me you're older than me. Yeah. I don't believe I'm it. so old, my beard grew in reverse. It's inside <laughs> face. <laughs> you cut me open, I don't bleed. Hair comes out. <laughs> i tell you what, I'm, I'm going to take the next um, elevator. Yeah, that's what that's, I thought. Uh, that's pretty disgusting. Suck it, loser. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I Let's feel like I'm winning it. on this one though. So uh, yeah, well, my beard. Bye, bye, Tootsie. Face. Yeah, it's cool. I'm gonna snap my fingers, and make these doors close faster. <laughs> I'm inside pushing the closed door button. He's on the outside trying to speed up time, just like get <laughs> him out of my face. Okay. 
<laughs> Soul's like, I'm but not, wait, I'm not I have more to tell you. you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so elevator's doors close, and Do the elevator like starts to go up. Bing, bing, bong, ba ding, ding, ba dong, ba dee, do, bong, 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 ba ding, ding, the sign tap. You are here and you're going Soul to the top. Soul kind of taps his foot. You know, the, the music's not that bad. Sign tap. Woo, ding. You're here. <coughs> that was a fast elevator. Yeah. We were always it was really fast. It's, a, it's actually like a speed train. 175 like floors in less than three seconds. Woo. You'd probably all have a little bit of blood rush right now. <laughs> no, beard rush. Yeah, your beard actually probably. comes out. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting so long. <laughs> Finally, this double do you not see it? All right, so you arrive at the top. You the doors open for you, and of course, you're welcome to the noise of <laughs> as many a gun cocks. Gun cocks. <laughs> Shut guys, I got the magic fingers. Alright, so what do y'all do? So I immediately transform my into guns. Two handguns. <laughs> I'm not shooting yet because I'm not sure who. I create a fireball, a tip of pinky. <laughs> but that's kind of a big fireball. <laughs> All the pinky talk. I grab the chain gun. Alright. So they're all prepared to shoot and destroy Adeen. The what? I didn't do anything. Adeen, they're prepared to shoot and destroy. What are you doing? Okay, give them a thumbs up. I need you, to focus. you can do it. I, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to give them a thumbs up. You guys got this. And I'm like going to step behind them. Keep an eye out. So you're deferring your role is what you're saying. We could do this one way. You guys yeah. could just go. Yeah. Whatever no. it is I mean, you I'll do, go, or I yeah. could do a big blast okay. of fire. Yes. Just they can go first. All right. To do it. So, she skipped her turn. What do you got? Do it. I point the pinky outwards and create the big column of fire down the hallway. <laughs> okay. Roll for it. Okay. Um, I'm still not adding anything. But no. Oh, I wish Soul was in every game ever. That's a natural 20. Nice. That's a success. You do create a ball of fire that rushes down the hallway. Well, it would be like a, a column of fire now. Just ball that turns into a column. I have five of them. It's freaking oh. awesome, right? Hot hands. This is only what the one in the fire room. I'm immune. Oh, imagine Good. what they could do with all of them. All right, so imagine. ball of fire flies imagine. out. Fireball. <laughs> and he shoots it down the hallway as you're all still standing in the elevator. Hello, anyone still alive down there? I poke my hand out. Hello. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> All right, so you poke your head out. Yes. <laughs> you want to roll to see if you can get your head back in the elevator? Yeah, sure. Let's see. What? It's not that this strong a of a door. All right. So you manage to pull <coughs> your head back in. As you see, everybody down there is in some sort of environmental mech suit, and they are shooting at you now. I swear you this can all hear the... Bullets ricocheting around. They've got angry little metal bees, and I don't like it. We'll see what you got, mister. My fire wasn't enough, but you let me down, Pinky. I don't know why you're so tired. 31. It's okay, still love you. Huh? 31. <coughs> All right, success. Uh, what's the d damage ratio you got? Um, 12. All right, you aiming at anybody? There are... I just went. It's you my way to shoot it. Yeah. Yep. I think you Punched a right. for this facility. So there's definitely you, down goes the windows. You hit the shot. Room at the end of the hall blows the doors right wide open. One of the guys standing in the way now missing a good chunk of from hip to shoulder, just like this circle kind of cut out now. Uh, but the doors are wide open now. That was freaking cool. All right. Let's go to that door so the elevator can shut. And All right, you want to be able up. to look out the elevator to see who's actually there or not? Or yeah. But the people okay. are still shooting. Or a little perception or anything. Or maybe, this. I mean, it depends on how you want to do it. Just a like a quick look. I'm just going to step out and start firing. Okay. <laughs>
30. 30 is a success. What's the damage right here you got? It's going to be a 10. All right. It's a chain pulse rifle. So as you step out, what you would see is that down at the end of the hallway, there are amassed about 20 guards and two mecha. One of those guards is now on the ground missing a good chunk of his body. And behind them, the doors to the main corridor, the main office area, blown wide open, singed to a crisp. Many of them have char marks on their armor, but they all seem aggressively angry at the elevator that has opened. Um, so as you step out and you start shooting your pulse rifle, uh, you can take your pick. There are 20 mm, basically wearing like high-tech suits and there are two that are very large mecha suits. So you can take your pick on what it is that you're aiming at as you step out. I'm just stepping out and just doing a sweep. Okay, so you want to distribute that damage across the, all of them. Yeah. All right. So they would all take, per, if there's 20 of them plus two, you're looking at like one damage per person. You're splitting damage. Oh, Jesus. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You got a 10 damage. But if you're just like hitting one after the other, you're not hitting one with all your shot. You're moving across the room. You're going to split your damage. I'd probably hit one of the heavies. Okay, you want to hit the heavy? Yeah. All right. That makes sense to me. All right, so you start plowing into one of them. They all definitely know. If they hadn't figured it out, they know that y'all are here. <coughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hello. <laughs> We're here. I like the other one better. Hello. <laughs> Why are you making fun of my voice? That doesn't. My name is Heavy Metal. I'm here. Hello. How are you? <laughs> We're having a winter sale. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going. <laughs> what are you talking about? Are they all dead yet? No. You're One so of them right is dead. Do better, big metal man. You can do it. <coughs> One of them's dead, and he is shooting into a heavy mech right now. Yeah, you do that. Do the. That's a thirty-four. We'll get. To, okay. I'm going to try and keep y'all on turn base here. So. Sweet. All right, Adeen. Hmm. What you got? Um, I have a pistol that does two damage. Two. Is there not a heavy mech? Dude, there again. There are twenty soldiers that are armed and armored, and there are two heavy mechs. I'm gonna shoot one of the dude's hands. that's holding the gun. Okay. Because that seems more reasonable with the two damage. Moles can move a mountain. Not this one. What'd you get? A two. Oh, oh my God. You did say you wanted these. Well, I mean, if I add my stuff to it, it's not like a 10 below. I'm just trying to be fair. Are you sure? I do want that, but I'm just trying to be fair. If I add stuff to it, it's like what a... the what? Eighteen. Okay. That's not too long. I know. I'll do the math for, for the GM. Uh, but that is that is a definite failure. So as you come out, it would be shooting back at you. Uh, so you'd be looking at, at trying. Well, you can't evade the damage with a roll like that. You got an eighteen, so I, I'd be fair. So I'll give you a chance to roll evasion. What? Well, I, what you am I evading? Failed. Did, is it ricocheting back at me? No, they're shooting back at you. They all have guns. <coughs> you shoot oh. at them, so okay. you failed the roll. I'll let you roll an evasion roll. Base 20. You definitely evade it. So you popped your head out, you shot, it ricocheted next to the dude, he turns, starts shooting at you, but you managed to duck back into the elevator and huddle into the corner. All right, so you see the big guy standing in front of you. He's 
shooting with his minigun, pulse rifle, whatnot. Here's oh, some. yeah, I'm going to try and get out of the elevator. Well, that's why I asked you. Hmm. Is there cover I could, like, like zigzag to cover? Yeah, like, along the hallway, what you would see is, like, there are jutted out bigger pillar sets that you could definitely basically place a singular body. A I'm small going to try to man. get behind one of these pillars. All right, so just give me a roll for your ability to move dexterously and quickly without getting shot. That's at 11. All right, so that is a minor success for you. You do manage to get by without getting grazed too much. High Guys, I made it out of the elevator. I don't know what they could really do. Vina Vina Chicken Dinner. I am on the They seem to not be getting how you say hurt by my fire. That is not good. Not good at all. All right, Dark Metal, it's your turn now. 32. Right, I, I feel the breeze. All right, so what are you aiming at? The other big guy. Big one? Yeah. All right. And you got a 12, correct? Yar. Yar. Thanks again for the odd number, Ronnie. Mm. Makes the math easy. Mm. 12. It's not a 10. Are you doing math right now? Yeah. Okay. Asked Tom. Okie dokie. And uh, so you come out, you shoot. It definitely hits, um, but the armor seems to withhold. It's standing up to the impact, but it's definitely got some damages and cracks across the surface of the armor of the heavy mech. That's what I was saying. Keep hitting right. the same Clark. spot. It's going to be a 31. Mm -hmm. I am firing into the other heavy. The one that you hit already? Yeah, the heavy mech that I fired upon already. Okay, so it's definitely stumbling back as you do this. Um, now, of course, they've been sitting here taking damage from you guys, but it's very odd that a highly trained group of mercenaries and assassins and death ringers would just sit here and wait for y'all to get your turns out one after the other. So now it's on them. Um, starting off with the heavy max, <coughs> everybody can go ahead and roll evasion or withstand. Your base is going to be 25. Mm. Twenty-two. Okay. Soul got the six. So he rolled below. Yeah, he got a twenty-three. Tom is in the office right now. He rolls just because. <laughs> That's so sweet of him <laughs> to back you up like that. 27. 27? 25. 25, so you two both just barely met it. You failed, and she had a minor fail. Uh, so when the heavy mech unloads this, it's got basically two hand cannons that are going on right now. One's chain gun, one's missile launcher, but it just launches one of those missiles down the hallway. It explodes right outside the elevator. Some of that debris is going to pop up and hit you as you're standing behind a pillar. And some of the implosion blast is going to basically throw a Dean back into the elevator against the wall. So both of you... Uh, let's see. You had a pretty low fail. You're looking at eight coming through. You can reduce damage per armor and DR. Soul. It hurts right now. Mm -hmm. What's your max health? I mean, uh, if the old system, his max health was like 10. A little 10 box. 
<laughs> right. I, okay, I remember what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, counting it like it's in our new system where you got you got ten health. So, so in our new system, health is con. Yeah, it's what's your con? It's con's twelve. So that would be your health. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you have so any you armor? Have 12 or above and you have 12 below. Mm -hmm. That would be your health. He doesn't have any armor. He lost his armor of uh, all of them when we <coughs> moved him over to uh, Warbound. And he never got new ones. He just became a son. Yeah. So, so yeah. then you're. Then this would be 12 for you. Yeah. So now you'd be down to four. All right. Okay. So you damaged what you got, Adine? What do you mean? Damage. I thought you just said I got seven. Eight. Minus your DR, so you're doing all right? You got it all? Yeah. Okay. okay, so the Heavy Max made their attack. Of uh, course, soldiers are starting to move in now because they've seen this explosion. So we'll go ahead and start back at the top with Adine. Um, I... Well, can I try to shoot him again? I mean, I don't really have anything to do other than that. You have nothing? <coughs> I have a throwing knife. I have a source energy dagger that I don't want to throw and lose. And I have the soul. And they all do two damage. So I can try to shoot another one. Okay. We'll try that. Teamwork. Anything you guys want to do? So, do you want to do some teamwork? We can try. Well, what do you have in mind? I don't know, some fire thing I can... I mean, I've always got fire. Enhance your fire thing? Um, you could try to create another pit of lava for them to get stuck in. I mean, they're still seem pretty cool, but like, you can't really do much against continual sustained damage. Exactly. Yeah, flash fire comes through. That can be avoided, I but... I would hear this, right? Longer lava. Yes. Yeah, you're standing there with them. Why don't you just melt the floor and make them go through it? This is also a good idea. Let's do it. But okay, cool. Maybe Let's not the support columns, though. We need those. They, they hold up the building. Okay, I don't okay so them. I'll let you roll for success. Basically, she's using her charge to amplify your runic power. Mm -hmm. uh, so give me you can advantage. roll with advantage. So... Okay. Uh... First one was 14. Okay, so that's your high? Yeah. All right. So, so success? Yes, it's a success. Goodbye. Didn't get any of your names. Okay, <laughs> so several of them that are running towards you as you place your hands against the floor, you cause this uh, fire to the heat to rush towards the, the center of this hallway mm -hmm. as they're running. 14 of them drop into this now lava magma floor that is dripping down to the floors below. So they just, they're burning and falling to the next story as they're running towards you. Six of them remain as they see their comrades and companions burning alive and two heavy mechs. Well, I guess we know who wasn't good at playing Floors Lava. Those guys. Is that like a, a, a joke or something? What is Floors yes, Lava? Floors is literally lava. Yes, it's a joke. Just... It's not the funny joke. Floors yes. literally lava. Right. And they couldn't play right. Well, no they one died. can play on lava. Right. The only I the can. Joke. That's because I'm kind of awesome. But no one could play I, on lava. I rolled a 29 to shoot the mech again. That's what Gabriel just makes the... No, but <laughs> Adin, can you play on lava? No, see? <coughs> I can. Lava. You're not kissed. We can all okay. play on lava. lava. I actually can. Go way back. Chuck, you, uh, you managed to shoot the heavy mech again, the one that you damaged the chest pattern on. Mm -hmm. And as you nail him again, his left shoulder is extremely damaged, and that arm falls off onto the ground, leaving him with only one weaponry system remaining. Ha! You better give him a hand. All right, Gabriel Clark. Wave again. He looks armless enough. 
Same mech? Yeah. Pretty cool. All right. So you hit him again, this time managing to do some damage to the knee joint, causing him to drop down, leaving him immobile, but he still has both weapon systems. Uh, he used to be an infantry. Now. Then he took it. Ah. Very funny. All right. So back around to them. Um, soldiers are now maneuvering to take aim and fire, so everybody can either roll for evade or sustain. Page mark 20. I rolled so a 20. So for soul, I got the 15. But yeah, you're, you're on like a half and half system right now. NPC, victory. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a 36 to sustain. Gotcha. Well, E15 is basically the same as that, right? Mm-hmm. 26. All right. Everybody does amazing. Apparently, these guys with their small combat rifles cannot peg you. You, like, throw up a, fall, a wall of fire that's just, like, melting the bullets before they get to you. You're like... Mm. Angry bees die really easy. I don't know what's going on. Because they can't hit me. A dean just gets behind you and watches as all this stuff like burns down. She's like, okay, safe space. If and you do your hands like this, you could create a wall of fire. Don't know if you know that. How are you doing? Are you just walking into the bullet fire, letting it ping against you? Yep. Thanks for the massage. Yeah. All right, two heavy armored guys. I assume that y'all would probably be able to sustain this stuff. Now, behind the big guys. <laughs> meanwhile, uh, you're down to six soldiers and two mechs that are damaged right now, Dean. One and a half mechs. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, how far away are they? Uh, imagine that the hallway would be about. 40 to 50 feet, like in length. There, the two heavy mechs are at the end where the doors were that they were guarding, but somebody used a pulse rifle to blow those doors open. And then halfway in between, there is now a molten lava hole in the ground. Like the edges of it are burning metal, bright hot burning metal. And then across that hole would be the rest of the floor that leads to so where So we can't get are. across? Them. I mean, somebody could throw you, Ooh, or you could, could do like some crazy acrobatics and run along the wall. Yeah, you could take a wall. I run. don't really think I know how to do that. You know, like a sewer ninja. <coughs> no, I'm not a sewer ninja. I said sewer ninja. <laughs> totally from the sewers. What? what? What's your dexterity? Pretty high, but I don't want to go over there by myself. Well, I, mean, I, I'm like I can do. I could do it, okay. But once I get over there, I'm by myself with all these soldiers, and I do very well, little damage. Right behind you. No, that I've heard that before. Listen, trust me. Lot. <coughs> I I provided the light that that grew your crop. That gave you're me small. He could throw you. But I don't like being thrown. That's all demeaning. Well, I don't like being thrown either. Well, don't be thrown. Get to, do the wall run. <laughs> you have options, the Dean. Don't uh, let anyone tell you what you have to do. We toss them. I have a scavenging kit, actually. You I'll throw the like little one. You throw the bigger one. one. Can I grapple which, which one of the soldiers one? and pull them out? Soul's like five five. Yeah, she's like I'll four give you nine. Mark on twenty. She's not four nine. How, how I'm tall is Adine? I'm gonna wrap it around the pole first, so he can't pull me. How how tall is Adine? Um, like five two. See, she's mm. so, I'm only three inches tall. So she's still smaller than you. Dog. Oh, What's my benchmark? I told it's a twenty. You think you're? Are you throwing me? I rolled twenty seven to throw her. I do not consent to this. 
I rolled a 27 to throw a D down the hall. I do not uh, consent. Hang on it. tight. She's finishing her roll right now. Oh my god. What'd you roll? I haven't rolled yet, but I'm about to. I'll do it now. Oh my god, Matt. Oh no. Oh no. I don't like that word. 24. All right, so yeah, you, <coughs> you throw the grapple hook and it manages to wrap around one of these guys. The heavy? Can I do the heavy? I'm assisting no. you. I didn't think hmm? that you were doing that, or else it would have been there. a different benchmark. Did but you, you are able to get one of the soldiers. Fine. Okay, cool. And you're able to pull him into the lava hole, oh, so that 20. takes it down to five soldiers that are on the other side. As you hear this, <laughs> as he falls down. Of course, now as you have done that, somebody takes hold behind you. No, you can't just non consensually. Why are you throwing me? He can't. He can roll and. Do that. It's what he rolled to do. You're, why are you throwing me? I thought we were. Because we're going to get down to the end of this hall faster. Just make sure we. It's get either on the other side. it's How either I throw you, you I'm, or I'm, I put you on my back and we run. Right. Right. Let's, let's do roll? that. Okay. I don't want to be alone at the end of this hallway. All right. So as he's picked you up and he's hefted you, you actually see Gabriel just run up, grab a hold of Soul's belt, and chunk him as hard as he can. And you hear this. Yeah. Oh, oh, I was gonna go all for this and like springboard kick off his legs. All right. So, so as I guess as it's my turn to do an attack. Yeah. So as I'm flying at them, I'm going to in a manner that would look very reminiscent to my brother Dulgur. My arms are going to get all like molten rock and craggy and like conical, and he's gonna make like a drill of molten. And who's he aiming for? Oh, he's aiming for the big guy with the crack in the chest plate. Oh, okay. Going to punch a hole through him. Maybe. <laughs> All right, so give me the roll for that. I got the 10. If someone wants to help me, that would be nice. Is there anybody well, I Can I help him after the fact? Well, he did throw you. That would give you like a boost to like impact, but... Huh? What'd you say, Dean? I don't have any... I can't add anything. I'm sorry. Can I help him... <laughs> After the fact, after he's already rolled, I thought I had to do it first. You can try to do a charge save for him. I'll let him do an advantage roll. So okay, but this is the last more. one because I need one left. So do I roll again? You get one more roll and tell me what's higher. 18. That's much higher. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Say thank you, Adeen. You're the thank best Thank you, Adeen. <laughs> All right, so as so cool. you drill bit into this guy, you definitely melt through the armor, and you even almost see the scared look on his face as he sees you break through his heavy mech, and then your hands touch his lungs, and he dies. Could I say something before he dies? Probably. Hello, little man. I crush you like little crab, and I eat you. Not really. I don't like eating people. Ah. And he's dead. But I'm <laughs> sure your words scared him as, he, <laughs> as he's dying. Of course, his friend's like, Oh, Jimmy! Can I try to move the robot? No, it is not oh. functional. I would so, not think that it would still work as you have melted out its core chest. Panel darn like it. I want so as I suit. pick her up to throw her, she screams at me and... She's kicking around. She is being a real brat about it. She... Yeah. she Ends up on my back. All so right. I just run down the hall with her on my back instead of hurling her. Okay. This is a better plan. Because she's feisty. I get it. It's hard it's to a better plan. I didn't want to be down there by myself. But you wouldn't have been. Soul was there already. We all need to get down there eventually. I like this. Now I'm there. down here by myself. Well, no, we're coming. now they're across the way now. You see this demonic robot basically running along the walls going, <laughs> and she's on his back going, See, this is a better idea. I told you so. And she's just like holding on to his horns. I don't sound that mean. He has horns. Yeah, he's he has spikes. Oh, yeah. He's got spikes and horns he's everywhere. Very yeah. spiky, like with horns. He used to be like a skeleton-looking <laughs> robot. He's so bony. Then oh he got God. possessed by a demon, and now he's got like horns and spikes. Okay, so we're running up to the dudes. Oh, cool. yeah. we're up to Which dude? How many dudes yeah, are like left at this every point? Heavy there are five cover. puny, weeny soldiers. And one big not weenie soldier. Okay, can I scoop up some lava and shove it down one of the soldier's throats oh, from his back? Nice. I see how I got well. Yeah, you can do that. 
Do I have to roll to do? Can I roll? Are you just using the charge to do this, or are you wanting it to use uh, your con to do this? I, I go, I don't know. I only have one charge left. Do I'll, your con. I kind of want to use my con. You can All do right, that believe. makes more sense to me. Can I use Dex instead? Since I'm having, like on his do. back, and I'm like having to be dexterous, dexterous. Like juggling the lava hot potato. Yeah, because you basically you're able to use it. So because you're saying that the charm allows you to handle it. So the, well, the charm fire has never hurt me before, just correct. in general. So. So yeah, but, you can use your dex yeah. to do it. How many times have you stuck your hand in lava? Twice. It's like Play-Doh. Uh, Thirty-three. Yeah, so oh you basically God. just shove lava into this guy's face and you keep on like smashing it against his mouth going, Swallow that! Here's your crown! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and his jaw melts away. And, and then I'm going to jump dexterously off of his back. Like Black Widow twist around him and like... No. Over. No. no. I'm not doing a superhero landing. Oh, that would be so well, that I hear the bat on the knees. <laughs> that would have been great. All right. So hey, now you just say. squat down and run really steadily somewhere. Well, I'm just, I'm just jumping off of his back gracefully. Uh. What are you even doing? All right. So that leaves four soldiers, one mech.